Hey, how's it going guys? TV the Ironic. If you haven't watched the previous video, make sure to check it out. So I recently did my, my software update and we we're talking about a couple of features. So the last feature I want to cover is that I didn't really mention it a lot, but this one is the uh, EV ride planning. And if you watched my previous video, the previous EV ride planning wasn't that great. So, and this one has a lot of improvement. I'm actually looking forward to it. And if you don't know, the EV ride planning is pretty good if you want to have a road trip. You just put your destination and then it will calculate the charging station around your route and it will just add automatically. But with the previous version, all it did is just add a station. It didn't tell you what was charging. It didn't tell you other stuff. So things have changed and then I want to show you what changed and what is better. Version 2.0. So let's have a look. So I went to my map and I'm going to enter a destination here. See what happened. So yeah, I entered a destination and it tell me I don't have enough range to, obviously I know that I don't have enough range to get to my destination. And it asked me if I want to add stay, if I want to add charge around the route. I'll say yes. So now it's going to calculate, it's going to calculate how many charge I need. But usually it only show you three, it only show you three charger at a time. So this is good. So it only show you three charger at a time. I would need to go to more than three EV charger in order to reach my destination. But now it tell me that it will update as I go along. This is why it say, just press OK. Now you have it. So we have a lot of information here. Let's let's talk a bit about it. So on the previous version, all they did it give the it gave you the charge along the route. It didn't tell you how long you, the estimated time you're supposed to stop and how much you're supposed to charge up to. So now it really tell me that my estimate range when I will reach my first EV charger, and then I'm supposed to charge up to 80. And I'm gonna be here for about uh, 24 minutes, and for the next one. I'm gonna arrive there. I haven't calculated if it's really, I haven't, I haven't like checked if it's accurate, but I put a thing is kind of close to it. So this is, it kind of give you an idea what the range you will have when you reach the charger and then how long you're supposed to wait at the charger. So that's pretty much it. So on the next charger, you, I'm, uh, I will be there around 25% at, and it was gonna take about 23 minutes to reach 80%. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So this really helpful if you want to do a road trip. It, it will save you a lot of time for sure. And I'm really happy about this one because I like to take road trip. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you have any question, let me know. I'm happy to help. And if I miss anything, let me know. And uh, we'll touch about it in my next video. Okay, thank you. And um, be on the lookout for the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Charging started.